I would say, you know, I started off um, in transitional housing, which was super unstable, you know, like it was good for the time, but you didn't know like how long you were going to be there or what your next move was. Um, then I got, you know, the section eight, which was great, but it also kind of, I feel like almost enables you to not move forward. Cause they're like, the better you do, the more you pay out. So you kind of like, you feel like you're stuck in a rut, you know, you just want to be where you are. And then, you know, when I got Habitat, I was like, wow, like I can be a homeowner and I can afford it. And like, I don't have to worry about if I, if I make more money, money got to pay more and like I can actually just get ahead so that was super exciting for me um I would just say it took a lot less stress to once I became a homeowner and had affordable housing man it means so much um because I can now like not only afford my mortgage I have had money in savings I've been able to pay off debt um I actually just recently bought my first car and have like car payments, but um, I've never had that. Like I never was in a financial position to actually have something nice and reliable. And so now I don't have to like stress out driving to work or, you know, stuff like that with the kids in the car and breaking down on the side of the road. You know, all my vehicles that I've had, I've just, they've been cheap cars. Uh, but just recently I was driving home from work with my, my kids in the car and my transmission went out. And so I am in the winter on the side of the road, uh, you know, five o'clock at night, like rush hour time. And I'm like, great, now I have to wait for a tow truck. I have kids in the car, it's cold. We're on a very busy highway and it's definitely stressful. And so to be able to have money and savings because I have affordable housing, like that's, that's huge. And so I was able to, you know, use some of that savings to put on a down payment for a, you know, 2018 van. Like, I never thought that would be the case, you know? So like, it's just really amazing to finally not only be a homeowner, but to be just financially in a position where I can do more for my family. And that means a lot. Yeah, I think we're definitely finally, again, financially stable. Like we are doing so well. I have an amazing job. Um, my girls are a big help, you know, even with the littles. Um, I feel like we have like finally have a routine and structure because everything's finally at a spot where it's like calm and collected and we just know what's happening next instead of, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but we're trying beyond words like my community just even here on the street uh the block has been just phenomenal the you know diversity for the kids is huge um we have all different cultures out here so like it's you the kids all get a little piece of it which i think is beautiful um our neighbors we like we share food you know if we go to the food bank and we can't use it all we we were like hey you want this and we share it um you know my next door neighbor has shuffled my walkway when it's snowy or I've mowed his lawn when it's in the summer because I have the lawnmower like we are here for each other a hundred percent and it doesn't matter which neighbor and I think it is awesome and then beyond the block um I've posted on like the Deer Park websites and my daughter there was a time period this summer she wanted to babysit and we met a gal who's raising her grandkids and we have now befriended them they've came over here we've went over there my daughter's babysat she's babysat for me and my littles like it's just awesome um so like even just beyond where my eyes can see out front I've made connections and it's been so cool so and it's comforting so you can like trust you know it's not a big city and like oh I don't know I don't know if I can trust you to walk down the street but like it's so it's just a cute small town and I love it so very blessed wow um just being a single mom of four and a woman I feel like I'm thriving right now like just, um, yes, my best, I'd say the last, you know, year, two years have been my best. Um, not only just with being a homeowner, but, you know, being a single mom and doing it by myself and affording it. Um, gosh, let's see. I have a really good support system. I have good friends. I have my counselor. Um, 
you know, staying connected with the school district, with the kids. Um, my kids definitely keep me motivated. And I just think we're all thriving right now. Things have been really good. Um, I'm going to put Jackson into, you know, softball and uh, hopefully Cub Scouts come June. And so, like, we're just really doing a lot. And it's it's been awesome. I mean, even outside of COVID, like we are still thriving and doing the best that we can and making it work. And it's been great. Actually, my daughter was just talking about this on the way to school. And like, she's like, mom, remember, you know, years ago, I went to like three different schools in one year. And I'm like, yeah, it sucked. I said, so now it's so exciting to be like in one town in one school district, and they're going to graduate out here. Like that's huge you know they don't have the inconsistency of like different school new teacher different school new classes and now they just again that stability piece it's just here i'm so excited jackson's in ecap he loves school he thrives in it and i will say we're super blessed for the school district because one of my kids my my 13 year old daughter is kind of struggling has you know some bad grades but they let her come in an extra day and work by herself with a teacher and they're really there to help her to succeed. Wow. So again, it just feels really good to be in a town where they're supportive and my kids can get the help that they need. So yeah, I'm excited for just the future and my kids to have a good school and make those connections. So yeah, I would just like to add, you know, a huge thank you to all the donors because without them, this wouldn't be possible for me. And so I just say thank you for donating time and money and everything that you do for Habitat because it helps people like me and families like me. And I am truly blessed and thankful for that.